Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Woodcraft CZ, and I'm here today to go over why the internet are so polarized by this. The Veritas Honing Guide Mark II. When I first bought this, I was really excited to use it. This was my first premium honing guide. I paid for this with my own money. So let's start by looking at the actual honing guide. We've got a depth gauge that sets the angle. We have the unit itself, the roller and the clamp. It comes with this wide width clamp. You also have the accessory option, or it comes as a package, but I bought it afterwards. The narrow clamp, which is for what you'd expect, narrow chisels. And you have this. We're going to get into this later, though. This is kind of off topic. So looking at the, the guide, it consists of the clamp, the roller, and this little knob here. Now, this little knob has caused a lot of polarization on the internet. And why it's done this is because, and this is just my belief, there is a QC issue or a manufacturing issue with Veritas that have put a lot of these into the wild that are simply faulty. And what do I mean by faulty? Well, we're going to get into that now. And this is the reason for the video. I'm going to debunk a lot of uh, myths out there and try and separate fact from fiction. So let's go. Sharpening my first chisel. I used these old set of chisels because I wasn't sure of my ability sharpening and I want to get the hang of setting it up correctly using the angle gauge and also getting the hang of this little magic knob. Putting the first chisel in, I use these old ones and let's take for example this one because it's a good example for what I'm about to get into. I sharpened the primary bevel, which went fine. I used my, my sharpening station and then I turned this dial. Now this dial has a little notch and for the story's sake, we're going to call it, it's set to 12 o'clock. It has three main positions, 12 o'clock, three o'clock and six o'clock at the bottom. The idea behind this dial and in essence, Veritas's USP, its unique selling point is this dial. And that's the main reason I bought it as well. And also I trust Veritas uh, and their product. But when you turn this dial to three o'clock or six o'clock, generally it's six o'clock because it's a bigger turn, it will create more of an angle so you can put a secondary bevel on. So having sharpened the primary bevel, having set it up, which I'm, I'm not going to go into the setup and stuff because I'm guessing you guys probably know already, but it's more a case of why I'm making this video. When I'd done the primary, when I set it up, ground the primary bevel, that was fine. I turned it to six o'clock and started to grind the secondary bevel. And when I looked at the secondary bevel, this is what I got. If you can see it, I got a skewed secondary bevel. Now, at first, I thought it's something on my side. I'm doing something wrong. Um, what am I doing wrong? I was going through the steps, setting it up correctly, setting up the gauge correctly, making sure it's square. I had done all that. I checked the chisel. I'd flattened the back. I made sure the primary bevel was square. So what? why am I getting a skewed secondary bevel? After thinking, thinking, I couldn't figure it out. So as you guys would probably do the same, I went to the internet. Now, this is a good and bad thing. On the internet, I found a flurry of users commenting, I hate this jig, it's got a bad design, everything's skewed. I did see a pattern of problems that I am experiencing myself, primarily being the secondary bevel is skewed. There's a whole host of explanations for this. First and foremost was, oh, you didn't tighten these equally or you over tightened one side or over tightened both of them. The reason being that if you over tighten it, it slightly cambers the, the chisel inside the vise. Also, because it's a chisel, I should be using the narrow chisel clamp. So hence why I didn't buy it at first, I went to purchase it, attached it, changed the head. You just unscrew this knurled brass knob, put this one on, set it at the, the steepness you want, which is two in my case, put it on, repeated the process, and I got the same results. I was at this point kind of losing my mind. I was questioning myself a lot, which is, you know, it's understandable. As humans, we make mistakes. I also kept on reading. I kept on reading on the internet. I saw, and I saw a few comments saying that this roller is eccentric or ex eccentric. I, yeah, eccentric, correct me, put me saying, mention in the comments if I'm pronouncing that wrong, eccentric, which essentially means that when you turn the knob, it only lifts it on one side and not uniform 
uniformly through the whole axis. But then I did see responses saying that this is, easy, you know, this is coplanar to the to the clamp, regardless of how you turn the, the adjustment. And I'm pretty sure I saw Veritas comment that this is not eccentric. And I, I didn't think it was eccentric because when you turn it, it still remains, it looks coplanar to, to any straight edge that runs adjacent. And you can see it's an off-center shaft that goes through the brass roller. And when you turn it, it just raises it up and down rather than off balance. So this still leaves me with the problem I was having. The secondary bevel was skewed. I, I was really frustrated at this point and ready to give up. I was so frustrated, I even bought a separate honing guide bridge city it's not been taken out of the box and there's a reason for that which we're about to go over so my final check to make sure that i'm not going crazy is i set up the primary bevel so it was at 12 o'clock and i sharpened the chisel at i believe these are 30 degrees i then set it to 35 degrees manually still being at 12 o'clock and i readjusted the chisel and i regrinded it and lo and behold the secondary bevel at 35 degrees was coplanar, it was parallel to the primary bevel. So that told me something is happening when I adjust this, this knob. Now, is it because it was eccentric? I didn't think so. Is it because I was over tightening? Well, I'd used this by then and it was still giving me a skewed secondary bevel. So I, I ruled that out. So it was a process elimination on my side. In a last ditch attempt, I decided, I don't know what, what, what possessed me, but I decided to write directly to Veritas and I got a response. I got a very nice response and it was quite simply, go back to where you got it from and see if you can exchange it. But I there was some confusion about where I bought it from because I thought I'd bought it from one place and it turns out I bought it from another place and that other place, it wasn't um, a verified reseller but that's another story in itself. So basically I was, I contacted them. They were very unhelpful. It's very bureaucratic here in the Czech Republic, but long story short, they're very unhelpful. And I told Veritas that this was the situation that I would have to send the whole unit in and wait for X amount of time. And the stress would be on a long time. And they got back to me and said, right, we'll send you one out. We'll send you a roller, which is the brass bit here. It detaches from this unit, so they're going to send me a replacement. They sent it via their sister company, Lee Valley, out in, I think, Canada or America, and it arrived really quickly. So here's me sitting here waiting for my package, my roller to arrive. It arrives, and what do I do? I put it straight onto the unit, replace the old roller with the new roller, and get sharpening like anyone would. Primary bevel, spot on. Square to the to the chisel's edge, beautiful. Turn it to six o'clock, wow, okay. It's still skewed. I'm at this point disappointed. I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm really disappointed. Uh, I, I was, in my head, this was it. This was, I can sharpen my good chisels. I can get everything done, happy days. But no, it was still skewed. I'll buy a lot less skewed. I do believe that these are the results from the second roller, and this is the less skewed one. So you can imagine how bad the part that the first roller was. It was just, it was horrendous. It was literally like at 45 degree angle. It was really bad. So I felt bad. I wasn't going to reply to Veritas. Well, I wasn't going to recontact Veritas. I didn't want to be that guy that's just sort of moaning about something. I was thinking maybe my my expectations are, are mismanaged and I should accept a slightly skewed chisel. And I was going to leave it. I wasn't going to message them, but something was eating at me. And I just, one night I just sat down. I wrote them an email. It's quite a lengthy email, um, just expressing my feelings about the whole situation. Lo and behold, Old. It was a very quick response. And I have to say thank you to Veritas, and um, particularly Dennis there. He was superb handling this situation. I can't be more grateful. It's such good customer service in my experience. He sent me out a whole new unit. So this is this will explain why there's two boxes here, one with bad and one without. I don't want to confuse myself and go through that ordeal again. So I'm going to put the good honing guide back and we're going to open this. And these were the root of my frustrations. These are, I'm, I'm just going to put it simply, they're faulty. For whatever reason, from the little I understood is that the holes are not parallel. If you were to, this rod is not parallel, should I say. So it grinds 
on the primary fine, but as soon as you make that adjustment, there must be some sort of kink. Yeah, you can see I went through two rollers before I was happy with the results, and the results are superb. I mean, I've just sharpened my new set of chisels. Okay, so looking at my new set of chisels, did the usual, flatten the back, and as you can see, this was done using the Veritas. Can you see the secondary? For me, that's acceptable. I'm not gonna say it's 100% perfect, but it's definitely acceptable. I wouldn't expect 100% but it's, 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 a, it's a, a tolerable secondary, but it's more than tolerable, it's, it's, it's brilliant, it's close on perfect. I'm very happy with that result. You can see it's not just the one, most of them sharpened. And if you compare it to, let's say, so what is this, a 12? So if you, if you look at these two, you should be able to see the difference. Third roller. This was a second roller. This was, let's call it just the faulty roller. The faulty roller, the, the, the third and correct roller and the difference is night and day. I'm making this video for anyone who's considering buying the Veritas Honing Guide Mark II. The summary would be this, it's an amazing honing guide if you get a working variant. If you are on the market for a honing guide and you want to consider the Veritas, I would say definitely go for it. The, the secondary, if you want secondary bevels, this is the feature that sold it to me and it's brilliant. The stories on the net about over tightening, I would say, I mean, there's some truth to it, but I tried over tightening when I was doing the process of elimination and I didn't see much of a difference. Even the way you hold, they were saying that sometimes the way you hold it, it can put more pressure on one side, which it can, but it's, it, it's definitely an issue with the roller. All these other issues, they will only cause a slight deviation, not massive. So going back on track, if you are on the market for the Veritas Mark, uh, Mark II honing guide, I would fully recommend it as long as you're aware of the potential problem in what I believe to be the manufacturing process. I would say buy it, but make sure you have the return option available. So I wouldn't buy any secondhand ones and I'll definitely buy it new, giving you the ability that if that secondary bevel is skewed, take it back immediately. You can even reference this video and say, you know, there is a recorded issue here, which I'm documenting. If, you know, you shouldn't have to keep on going through different variants to get the right one, but once you do it, I can promise you it's, it's you, you're not gonna be happier. It's such a good jig. I have, like I, like I showed you, I have the Bridge City Honing Guide, which has been in the box unused because I love the, just the easy, the ease, ease of use with this, uh, the quick setup using the, the guide. It's a great jig. Just make sure it's working out of the box. Make sure you test that secondary bevel straight away. And hopefully you get many years of uh, use out of them. So this is the video summarizing it all. Always check the secondary bevel. If it's not working, don't beat yourself up about it. Just go and exchange it. Keep the receipt, exchange it. Exchange it, exchange it until hopefully you get one that works. Hopefully you don't have to do it, but it's a small price to pay for a great product. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, this is the biggest con. And I say con in the sense of pros and cons, not like a, a, a rip off thing, but it's the, it's the biggest con when it comes to the, the Veritas Mark II. Yeah, so if you've, because the internet's full of people who've had bad experiences and understandably so, if I didn't pursue, I have a, my personality doesn't allow me to put things to bed easily, good or bad for whatever it is, call it what you will, but I saw it through to the end. I was close not to, and I'm now in a very happy spot with this Veritas. It's gone through all, most of my chisels. I, I've still yet to, do some of the big ones because it takes forever to grind them from factory. I've gone over my old chisels, which this needs a bit of a resharpen, but it's been done. I have some chisels in the back. I don't know if you can see that that's my mortising chisels and below it, my Kirshen chisels. I have this new set, which is just, these are really good chisels by the way, but that's another video on that anyway. And I'm gonna do my mortising chisels. Point to add, what I showed you for. This allows you to do mortising uh, chisels on this guide because because of the generally the thickness of a mortising chisel doesn't allow for it to sit in the clamp well. This is just like a little buffer that you add in between this clamp and the roller, and then it allows you to, to fit the chisel 
chiseling at the appropriate angle. So having said all of that, that's what the video is really all about. I'm just trying to debunk a lot of the stuff that's on the internet about it being, you have to tighten it in a particular way to get a good result from it. You can't get a parallel secondary bevel because this is an eccentric cam or w whatever they're suggesting. And all sorts of stuff is floating about on the internet. As the internet goes, you've got to take everything with a pinch of salt. Basic takeaway, this is a great jig if you get one that's fully functional. Sad to say, but it is what it is. Do your homework, keep your receipt, check it out, you'll be happy to. Or just get another jig. I mean, this is no skin of my nose. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Veritas, but I am sponsored by you guys. So please consider giving me a subscription, subscribe to my channel, smash that like button. I pay for most of the stuff myself, so every little helps. I just want to get my channel monetized and then I can afford to keep on doing these videos. And I hope this has helped you lot find your way around the Veritas and understanding it a bit more. So until the next video, guys, happy woodworking and take it easy.